Hi viewers, happy new month and welcome to Moments of Motivation, MOM, with Sister Gladys Ngozi Chukuka Ayao. I stand before you today to speak on the tremendous power of reconciliation. Reconciliation is a force that has the ability to heal wounds, mend broken relationships, and bring about peace and harmony in our lives. It is a transformative process that requires courage, empathy, and a willingness to let go of past grievances and hurts. Reconciliation is not about forgetting and pretending that the past never happened. It is about acknowledging the pain and trauma, but choosing to move forward with an open heart and a willingness to heal. It is about seeking common ground finding resolution, and rebuilding trust. Reconciliation begins with a single courageous step, the willingness to acknowledge our mistakes and seek forgiveness. It requires us to look within ourselves, to confront our own imperfections, and to embrace the possibility of change. This journey is not easy but it is essential for personal growth and harmony. First, let's consider the importance of reconciling with ourselves. We often carry the heavy burden of guilt, regret, and self-doubt. These feelings can weigh us down, preventing us from living our lives to the fullest. By practicing self-forgiveness and acceptance, we can release these burdens and start anew. We must remember that we are all human, prone to making mistakes, but also capable of learning and growing from them. Reconciliation with ourselves is the foundation upon which we can build a more confident and compassionate life. Next, let's explore the power of reconciling with others. In our complex world, conflicts, Misunderstandings and hurt feelings are unavoidable parts of the human experience. We may find ourselves estranged from loved ones, colleagues, or even strangers, carrying the weight of unresolved tensions and broken relationships. Reconciliation with others involves opening our hearts to understanding and empathy and seeking to repair the damage caused by misunderstandings or conflicts. It means offering and accepting apologies and finding common ground despite our differences. Through reconciliation, we can rebuild trust, strengthen bonds, and create a more connected and supportive community. Furthermore, let's exploit the power of reconciling with God. Reconciliation with God is a sacred journey of surrender and redemption. It is about opening our hearts to his infinite mercy, accepting his forgiveness, and allowing his love to heal our wounds and restore our spirits. This spiritual reconciliation can offer guidance, comfort, and a deeper sense of meaning in our lives. It reminds us that in the arms of God, we find solace, strength, and renewal. We find a refuge from life storms, a source of comfort in times of sorrow, and a guiding light in moments of darkness. Finally, dear friends, when we embrace reconciliation, we choose to move forward with hope and positivity, rather than being held back by the pain of the past. Let us strive to be agents of peace and understanding in our families, our communities, and our world. Thank you everyone for listening. Ciao.